Hello everybody, Game Freak 997 here. I'm back today with more Forza Horizon 2 on the Xbox One. I'm bringing you another car review. And following the week's trend of previous Forza cover cars, we're doing the Audi R8 today. And this car is featured on the cover of Forza More Sports 3. And I have yet to really drive this game. Or, I'm an idiot. Drive this car in this game. So I don't really know what to expect from it, but let's see what kind of colors we have. We have the we have a pretty nice looking white, uh, sort of a matte blue, maybe a semi gloss, uh, blue, uh, darker blue, red, brown, orange, black, different shade of lighter black, I guess, gray, silver, and another sort of silver, but. I do like the or the red, but I do like this blue as well. I think I'm going to go with the lighter blue. So, anyway, this is the V10 version, and they do not have the V8 version in this game. And I'm not even sure if the cover car was a V8 or the V10 version. But it was the older model of the... Um, R8 but because I couldn't get the older model that was used on the cover of uh, Forza Motorsport 3 I'm just going to make do with this let's just come over and see how it sounds if there weren't so many cars uh, it'd be easier to hear idle Though even even so, if there were no cars around, can't really hear it. So let's see how the revs sound. Uh, This is one of my new favorite exhaust sounds, I think. It's between this or the Huracan. Alright, well anyway, since it's all-wheel drive, don't really have to worry about wheel spin too much. Oh, and I totally forgot to look at how much horsepower this car makes. When I get to the airstrip, I'll check it out. Handling, surprisingly, isn't all that bad. Of course, all-wheel drive, not much of a problem on gravel. No, I wasn't able to drift that line as much as I, as well as I wanted to. Just listen to it when I let off at high RPMs. Oh, I just love that crackle. Brakes are pretty good. Just gonna line up really quickly and then I'll check to see how much horsepower and everything a car makes. And I'll worry about that after. Alright, so the Audi R8 V10 makes 542 horsepower, produces 398 foot-pound torque, weighs 3,682 pounds. It's a little bit on the heavy side, but you know it's all-wheel drive, so that adds a little bit more weight. And because it's 
is a V10, but it's somewhat of a smaller size car. Like, it has two more cylinders, and it's barely bigger than a 5-liter V8, you know, from, like, a Mustang. But the horsepower and all that stuff, I'm not quite sure exactly how fast this car is going to be with that. Of course, I will drive, get a really nice launch, even in the rain. I'm expecting 170s, 180s for this car. Maybe. It's climbing pretty quickly, actually. And 178.95. Alright, so it's uh, it's not that quick for a supercar. I actually don't quite know exactly what the class uh, what class it is for this game. I think it is just a supercar. But anyway, let's go ahead uh, check out what we can do to it. Boost up the horsepower and whatnot. I'm hoping that we can push over a thousand. Dude, come on in. Alright. Engine swap, we have a 4.5 liter V8 or a 6 liter V12. I'm not, where does that engine come from? I'm not sure. But anyway, just going to keep the normal engine here, in here just because it's a little more fair in a way. Wonder how much uh, horsepower the cams will, the camshaft will boost us up. Only 54, huh? Suppose because the camshaft is already fairly upgraded for the R8, so it looks like we may not be able to push over a thousand unless the turbos really help us out. But I don't think that the turbos are going to be boosting us up over two, 250 horsepower whoops alright so the final horsepower rating is 894 horsepower it's not too bad actually just we we just really have to shave that weight off cannot upgrade the brakes Hopefully the brakes will be able to stop uh, this car good. Well, All right, I'm not going to put a roll cage in because this car is heavy enough as it is. See if we can get it under two or under 3,000, I mean. Probably not because of the extra tires that I'm going to be putting on. You know, raise compound and then widen them. Whoops. Alright, put some 345s on the back. Let's go test this baby out. And of course, just a splitter and a wing on the back is all that you can do. I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't allow for a lot of body modifications for these cars. Mostly it's just like, um,. Mostly it's just uh, the splitter and the wing. You know, there are some cars where you have a decent selection of body mods, but otherwise there's not really much. I mean, even with the R32 GTR, I think all you really can do is just put a splitter and a wing on it. But anyway, let's see how the car sounds, see how the exhaust sounds on this car. Whoops.
The engine itself doesn't sound that much different. Maybe it sounds a little bit more aggressive, but those turbos are very loud. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and go to the airstrip. Alright, so this car, fairly quick. Handling is still pretty, uh, pretty good. As far as I can tell. Oh my god, I am in love with this exhaust. I still think I like the Huracan just a little bit more because it has the same kind of crackle and whatnot. But I like the sound of the Huracan's engine just a little bit more. The brakes are very good on this car. I like that. So far, I'm very pleased with this car. Whoa. Whoops, got a little bit more wheel spin there from shifting. <laughs> Man, just all the... This car loves shooting flames, apparently. This car is fairly fast. Alright, it does have 7 gears. 219.48 across the speed trap. Alright, so some of the pros about this car. It looks good, sounds good, braking, handling, speed, all of that stuff is pretty good. Cons. I feel like the like just the V10 that it gives you, I feel like the engine may have been cheated a little bit. I'm pretty sure that the 5.2 liter V10 could push over or nearly a thousand horsepower. But otherwise, this car is pretty awesome. I would give this I would give this a 10 out of 10. I, I like the looks, I like the sound, um, handling, speed, braking, it's all awesome. It's a very well controlled car. And, uh, you know, you can take this to the track fully upgraded like this, but something that I'm interested to see is what the McLaren F1 engine has to offer for this car. That's something that I may actually go do uh, after I'm done recording, as I may... I'm probably going to go and see what the McLaren engine does with this car. But, anyway... This, yeah, pretty solid... Not, or, uh, not solid 9 out of 10, solid 10 out of 10 for this car. But, uh... If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments sec the comments section down below. If you uh, want to see more com or you know, just give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Wow, I I have just absolutely botched my outro, mostly because my headset is pretty loud. Let me quiet that down. That way I can hear what I'm saying a little bit better. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section down below or just give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me and my friends, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be uploading daily. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.